Hey, NJ here for tabletblog.de. I have the Acer Aspire Switch 10 in front of me that was introduced, well, I think almost a month or over a month ago at a big press conference in New York. And now we finally have the chance to take a closer look at it. So let's unbox the new Acer Aspire Switch 10. Um, it is available in several storage options. The keyboard dock is always included and then you can get it with 32GB of internal storage or 64GB of internal storage and in the future you uh, will even get a version of this where there's another 500GB hard drive inside the keyboard dock but that's not available right now. So the cheapest version with 32 gigabyte costs 349 euros and I think it's about the same price in US dollars and the 64 gigabyte version goes for 399 euros and again I think that around that must be the same in US dollars. Okay, so let's unbox this tablet. So we've got some writing. Then this is a tablet. Let's put it to the side for a second to see what else is inside the box. There we have, of course, the keyboard dock over here. So let's put it to the side as well. And then we have um, an office CD with the activation um, code because it comes with Microsoft Office 2013 in the home and student version. It's pre-installed for free, um, setup guide, warranty and so on. And then we have the power plug over here. So it's not a micro USB, which is actually a good thing because it would charge um, quite slow over micro USB. Okay, that's pretty much it. So let's put the box to the side over there and take a closer look at the tablet and keyboard dock. So the tablet has a 10 inch display and sadly we, we don't have a full HD resolution over here. It's only 1366 by 768. So it's about a 720p resolution. Um, it's the same as with the Acer Transformer Book T100. Um, and both of these tablets are competitors. Both have a 720p display, um, IPS display. But yeah, no, no full HD, but okay. Maybe for the price, that's okay. Let's take a look. Let's go around the tablet, actually. Again, this is a display, front facing camera over here, and the Windows button on the bottom here. Two speakers on the bottom which is actually a good position because you hold it like this or maybe like this but you don't really cover um, the speakers with your hands at least I hope that's not the case and uh, we will see that in our final review on this side we have the um, power port HDMI out, micro USB, micro SD card slot and a microphone nothing here on the top on this side we have the headset port, a power button and a volume rocker on the back, there is no camera. Um, well, I don't really mind that there's no camera. Uh, maybe they could have put a two or five megapixel camera on the back, but really who would use it? So I don't care if they want to, um, don't spend that much money on a camera. Well, it's are cheap, but anyway, um, no camera on the back. Let's go to the keyboard dock. And um, it's a Schicklet style keyboard with a quite big trackpad, I think. The Transformer series from ASUS has a little bit smaller track pads when I remember correctly. Um, otherwise, it's a normal keyboard, as you know from the past, from all those 10 inch no um, netbooks out there. On the top here, we've got the connectors for the um, tablet, of course, and on the side is a USB 3.0 port, nothing else on the back. Again, there will be a version with a 500 gigabyte hard drive inside but that's not the case here and yeah there's no battery extra battery inside the keyboard dock as well what I actually like what Acer did here is that this, the mechanism to put the dock in, to connect the tablet and the dock is magnetic so you just have to hover it kind of like this and it kind of um, flips into place um, it's a little bit harder with the Acer Transformer series where you have to press a button um, to pull it out and yeah, it's a lot nicer if you have a magnetic mechanism like here. So it actually works quite good. Yeah, um, what I actually have seen in the German unboxing video is that if you tilt the screen uh, fully 
um, to the back like this, then the tablet wants to flip over, which is not a good thing. You have to go back just a little bit, then it, then it is steady. But still, if you go all the way here, then the tablet flips over a little bit. That's not good, um, especially if you have it on your knees. Maybe it will be better if you have it on your knees because you can kind of balance it. I don't know, we will have to test that. But yeah, it's not, not really good that this tablet here flips over. I mean, obviously this part is a lot heavier. The, all, all the components are inside the tablet and there's pretty much nothing in the keyboard dock. That's why it flips over. Um, but yeah, if you get go back a little bit, then it's okay. All right, this is the Asus Aspire Switch 10. Um, let's switch it on. Okay, I'm back. Um, the Asus Aspire Switch 10 is turned on, and as you can see, it runs normal Windows 8.1. Um, nothing much to show here. Let's take a quick look at the internal hardware. Inside is an Intel Atom 3745. Uh, Quad-core processor with 1.3 gigahertz. It's clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. Um, it's a 64-bit processor, but Acer doesn't really really use this technology because there's only two gigabyte of memory inside, not four gigabyte. I mean, two gigabyte are okay, especially for that price. But the four gigabyte or four gigabyte version would have been nice. Um, as I said, with a storage 32 to 64 gigabyte. Okay, on here once just normal Windows 8.1. As I said, Microsoft Office is pre-installed, so everybody knows that you can just write on it as you know it. Um, a nice thing is always the desktop modus, especially if you have it in this notebook um, mode here, because you can pretty much use it as a normal Windows notebook. Um, the performance is actually quite good. You will be able to render HD videos with it. Um, Again, 4 gigabyte would have been nicer, but you will still be able to render HD videos with this device and do a little bit of Photoshop and so on. Um, okay, this is a quick unboxing with the Acer Aspire Switch 10. One quick thing here, since I've seen this, this drawing here from Acer, you can't only um, just only use it like this. You can also put the put it the other way inside the dock like this, which is actually quite nice if you're on an airplane and you don't have that much um, space to move the display to the back in the notebook modus, then you will be able to do it like this. It's actually nice to have, um, not that essential, but it's nice to have. Okay, this is a quick unboxing with the Asus by Switch 10. I'm Andre for tabletblog.de. Thanks for watching. Yeah.